Hey, hey, how are you? My name's Feld, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Today we're talking about spells, weapon skills, abilities, and the differences between all of them and how they're used. This will also include a little bit of more in-depth information this episode, as we're going to be talking about a bunch of healer-specific abilities that are very specific in their wording. But let's get started with the basics of spells and weapon skills. So I'll start by talking about weapon skills and spells. The almost inconsequential differences and the exceptions that prove the rules, so to speak. Let's talk about weapon skills first. Now, weapon skills are your GCDs. I've talked about GCDs in a previous video, so you should know what they are by now, and if you haven't, go watch that previous video. So, the way that weapon skills work is that they are GCDs that you will push, and they will spin as a GCD does, and you'll have to wait until it's finished spinning to hit your next one in order. They are typically the basics of your combo, they are what you will be hitting almost all of the time, and they are affected by skill speed. Now, in case you don't know what skill speed does, it affects both the casting and recast timer of skills, as well as the damage over time potency for weapon skills and auto attacks. The higher the value, the shorter the timers, and the higher the potency. Now, just because it says the higher the value, the shorter the timers and potency doesn't mean that every job wants skill speed. Your skill speed for your weapon skills will vary depending on what job you play. That's not the point of this video, though, but I do want to include that information. I also want to talk about the exceptions that prove the rule. So what do I mean by that? Well, for example, let's talk about Machinist. They have an ability called Drill here, which has a weapon skill, but it has a 20 second recast timer, meaning that when you push it, it rolls like a GCD. And the same can be said for Air Anchor, and the same can be said for a Chainsaw. All three of them are on the GCD and are weapon skills, however they have their own unique intrinsic cooldown. That does mean that their recast time is affected by skill speed. Which is a reason why you wouldn't want to build skill speed on a machinist. There are other jobs that have similar things. Gunbreaker is a wonderful example. Gunbreaker's Gnashing Fang and Double Down are both weapon skills, so they're on the GCD. However, they are weapon skills, so they are affected by skill speed. Meaning that they will come off of their cooldown faster based on how fast your skill speed is. Let's talk about spells and spell speed now. Now, spells are a little more basic. Typically, spells don't have any things that have their own unique recast timers, the way that some weapon skills do. They're nearly identical in form and function to weapon skills. They are just solely for jobs that are casting. So, healers and magical range DPS. Now, there are a few that are identical in form and function to the way that Drill and Gnashing Fang work. For example, Sage has Numa which is a spell with a longer recast, while also being on the GCD. Astro has Macrocosmos, a spell with a longer recast, while also being on the GCD. Those two seem to be more exceptions than the rule at this point. Same can be said for the uh, Gnashing Fang and Drill slash Air Anchors of the world. But there are some of them, and that is something you need to know. That does mean, however, they are affected by your spell speed. Alright, let's talk about some more exceptions. These are a bit more extreme than the standard of, oh, it has a longer cooldown, but still applies to the skill spell speed rules that have already been set up. Dark Knight and Paladin, but I'm going to use Dark Knight as the main example here, because I think Dark Knight has it worse. Both of them have abilities, not abilities, I apologize, abilities is the name of a different thing in the game, and I'm going to actually make that distinction now very clear, because we're going to be talking about them following this section have different skills that are actually spells. So you have Unmend, as well as Unleash, and Stalwart Soul. All of them are spells. And you can see it in practice, basically, by comparing Stalwart Soul, one of your AoE abilities, to Quietus, another AoE ability. You notice those recast timers? Completely different. Stalwart, Stalwart Soul is a 2.5. Quietus is a 2.4.3 because Quietus is being affected by skill speed, but Stalwart Soul is being affected by spell speed. It is one of the exceptions, it is very strange, but Dark Knight and Paladin both have this in their kits, where they actually have spells as a part of it, which means that they have certain skills that take longer to cast than other ones. For uh, Dark Knight, it hardly matters. It's only in your AoE, so inside of most raid settings, it'll not matter at all. However, for Paladin, 
It means that your Holy Spirit and your entire Confidior combo are all at a flat 2.5 GCD, which can make your rotation get a little bit off from what you're used to doing. If I remember correctly, it's one of the reasons why the Paladin rotation has a little bit of spice to it, and why it can be a little bit different across the course of its rotation. Dark Knight doesn't quite have that problem, but it is a part of the kit. These are very, very much exceptions. I don't expect them to be the norm. And there is actually one more exception to talk about. Red Mage. Red Mage's melee combo is weapon skills. So they have the opposite problem that the tanks have. Now, keep in mind, when you're using the enchanted version of your weapon skills here, and when you have the proper amount of mana, they're only a 1.5 second recast. Except for Enchanted Redoublement, which is a bit of an odd one, being a 2.2 second recast. However, there are weapon skills affected by skill speed, not spell speed, so any spell speed you have on Red Mage to make you cast faster will not be affecting those weapon skills. Keep in mind, these jobs that I've been bringing up are exceptions, not the rule. This is not standard. This is not something you should look too much into if this is just a video series you've been watching to try and improve the basics on. However, these are exceptions that I feel like are important to know if these are jobs you play. This does not mean that you should meld skill speed on Red Mage. This does not mean that you should meld spell speed on Dark Knight. They are exceptions. They are not the norm. They should not affect how you play the job. Let's talk about abilities now. Now, I talked about this in the last section where I misspoke and then said that you were casting abilities on the GCD. That is just blatantly false. Abilities are almost always OGCD buttons. The things that you can think of are like uh, tanks, mitigations, Dark Missionary, Reprisal, Black Snide, Rampart, Shadow Wall, abilities. Things that would let you buff yourself or buff some aspect of your kit, like Blood Weapon or Delirium, abilities. They are usually used as weaves, and they are not tied to a GCD. And because of that, they are something that you will have to always be using off cooldown properly. And that's what leads to a proper rotation, something that I've talked about in a previous video. Go watch the rotations video if you missed it. However, there are exceptions as always. Answer is the largest exception. Standard step is an ability, but it's a GCD. Same can be said for technical step. It's a little strange, however, don't sweat about it too much. They essentially function as GCDs for Dancer, so don't think of them as abilities. Think of them as fancy GCDs, basically. Okay, so this is going to be the last section of the video, probably, unless I've realized that I've forgotten something, but it's a very important section of the video if you are a healer. So let's talk about things that will buff healing spells versus things that will buff healing actions. I'm going to list off a pile of abilities, and if you don't know the name, it's fine. I'll go through the jobs one by one in a second and explain how each of them function and why they're all different. There are two different types of buffs to healing in this game. One is it will increase HP recovered by healing actions. The other has various phrasings, but it basically increases the healing done by healing spells. So. Zoe, Dissipation, Fey Illumination, Temperance, and Neutral Sect will all boost healing spells, whereas Fizzes 2, Krasis, and Asylum will increase HP recovered by healing actions. That's a lot. Let's go through one by one, job by job. Zoe. Zoe increases the healing magic potency of your next healing spell. That is a GCD, that is an actual spell, so it'll have to be Prognosis, Diagnosis, or Numa. Now you might be like, well, what's, why does that matter? Well, who cares? It won't buff Ixacale, it won't buff Physis, Haima, or Panhaima, or Karakale, or Druchol, or Tarakol. None of those other things are getting buffed. It is only a GCD heal. This matters a lot. Because Physis 2 and Krasis both increase HP recovery via healing actions. Meaning that it will, in fact, buff all of those abilities. See why this is in the abilities versus weapons and spells and skills video? You getting it now? So, Sage has a very clear distinction between them because of the way that it phrases them. However, Scholar does not. Scholar has several different things that function very differently. Let's start with Fey Illumination. Fey Illumination increases healing magic potency of all nearby party members. What is healing magic potency? That is a GCD button that you press. That is your suckers. That is your adloquiums. 
poor scholar in particular. It's also your new modes, your diagnoses, your prognoses. You get it. It is for your healing spells. There is also dissipation, which increases healing magic potency. Have you, you seen the trend? If it says healing magic potency, it actually means your spells, not your abilities. It's a very weird distinction. However, this is important. Healing magic potency is spell healing, not your buttons that are not spells. So even though Dissipation gives you three stacks of Aether Flow, it doesn't buff those abilities. Lustrate, Indom, Sacred Soil, Excogation, all going to heal the same. What's not going to heal the same, though, is Adloquium. It's going to heal a lot more now. Physic does too, but no one likes Physic, even though we got a slate buff. So let's move on to White Mage, which I haven't done a video on yet. This video is going to come out soon. If you're watching this when it launches, the White Mage video is my next job in line. But White Mage has some more unique ways, kind of like Sage does. They have Temperance, which increases healing magic potency, which is your GCD heals. Then it has Asylum, which increases HP recovery via actions, which is everything, which will include a Liturgy of the Bell and SIs for White Mage. There's also Plenary Indulgence, which is a much more straightforward way of showing a healing buff. It tells you exactly what spells it affects. It's a bit odd that there are, that there are abilities out there that will affect certain spells, but other ones will just say it buffs healing magic potency, but that's not on me. That's just how they've been put into the game. Now, the final one is Astrologian. They have Neutral Sect, which increases healing magic potency. Once again, this will be your spells. This will buff your un Collective Unconscious, Celestial Opposition, and Earthly Star. None of those. None of those. Mm -mm, nope. Mm -mm, will not buff them. I think I stuttered and said it wrong, so I wanted to clarify. None of those getting buffed. Horoscope, not getting buffed. I know it is getting buffed, though. Helios, Aspected Helios, Aspected Benefic, Benefic 2. Those are your healing actions, so that is your healing magic. It is very, very odd, very strange. However, most of these things are used in times when you either need big burst healing or big burst mitigations. Or both. It's a bit of an odd one. It's a bit of a strange way how they all work. However, knowing the distinctions between them and knowing what they're affecting is very important if you're going to be a healer. I felt that because of the way that they affected weapon skills and spells, mostly spells for healers because I don't believe that any of them have a weapon skill, the way that they affect spells versus abilities, I felt it was really important to include it in this video because they are very odd, unique distinctions, but very important to know anyways. Whew, that is a lot of information. That's a lot of information. If you're watching this when it launches, it's probably been about a week since my last video. Uh, this is going to be kind of a semi, like, five-second update here. I've just reached some kind of writer's block when it comes to making these videos. It can be very difficult to pump them out at a high pace. I did a great job for a while there, but now I've slowed down a bit. Don't expect any of my series to stop. I'm still working on other guides. In the meantime, I'm still working on finding out good videos to make for this Improving at 14 series. Either way, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Comment and subscribe if you want to see more. Either way, thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one.